Hey, what is up guys? Shady here, and in this video I'm going to be going over some match play tips that might help you out on Vault C. I saw that in the last two tournaments people were averaging about 20 to 30 fish in 60 minutes. That's about one fish every two minutes, and that's not going to be good enough to place high in that tournament. The top 10 scores averaged anywhere from 60 to 90 fish in an hour. Your goal here is going to be to get at least one fish a minute. Match play is a little bit different than the other tournaments because your goal is to catch the largest amount of fish. It's not based on weight or length, so you want to be constantly pulling in fish. And the lake here has a large variety of fish including koi and carp and pike, and those are big fish and we want to stay away from them. We want to target the smaller fish like tench, bream, and especially roach, which are the smallest fish in the lake. Now to catch just the smaller fish, we're going to have to start filtering out the larger fish. And we have four things that will affect the pool of fish that we are going to catch from. First thing is the bait, and we really want to key on those little roach, so we're going to be using bloodworms. The next is the hook, and we could use a waggler. They have the smallest hooks available to us on them, but trying to catch that amount of fish in that short amount of time with a float is going to be tough. So we're going to be sink fishing in silt with a 12 braided hair rig. Now the third thing that's going to affect what we're going to catch is our line. And I'll try to demonstrate this for you guys because this is going to affect all your fishing in Fishing Sim World. Other fishing games I played, the line really didn't play no factor in filtering down the fish, only the hook and the bait, but it does here. So I'm going to cast out a 20 waggler with blood worms on it and 10 pound Guru Pulse line. And you'll see that the fish will start to magically appear around my bait. And this is the smaller pool of fish that I have a chance to catch from this spot. Each fish here was procedurally generated by this combo of bait, hook, and line. And each fish here has a chance to bite on that hook. The chance is going to be really low because of the size of that hook. But there is a chance that one of those larger fish could take the hook. Now the fish I want to catch is this little guy swimming around here. Not sure if you can see him there, but for some reason he's uninterested in taking that little 20 hook. So I'm going to change to an 18 waggler with that same 10 pound Guru Pulse mono line. And you'll see that the fish reset because now the conditions have changed based on my combo of line, hook size, and bait. That little fish is back, but he has brought a little bigger friend with him, but still no bite on the line. Now this time, I'm going to switch my line to the 5 pound Guru Pulse. And what happens now is his friend is left, but he still won't take the bite. I go ahead and I switch to the 4 pound Guru Pulse line, and bam, as soon as that bait hit the water, he takes it. So your line does play a factor in what fish you're going to catch. And we can take that information that we learned from being able to visually watch and see how the fish were reacting, and we can apply that to sink fishing where we can't see what's going on. So on each one of my rod reel combos here, I'll add that four pound Guru Pulse line. Now the fourth and final thing that will affect what fish you will catch is location. There are locations on this lake that you just seem to catch more roach in smaller bream than others. One of those locations is from this dock right here going from the middle of the lake all the way back to the island. Now you're not always going to catch a little fish here, but it has been one of the locations that I've had the most luck. So now all I do is I begin casting out all my lines and reeling in those fish as quickly as possible. Some other tips that may help you out, I don't mess with the big fish like koi. If I get one of them hooked, I just let them break the line. If I hit a spot where the fishing is drying up, I'll begin recasting my lines to different spots. I personally don't like to move, that is like my last resort. Because it takes time to set up again, and that's where the Sonic Vader X comes in real handy because you can cast out pretty far with that instead of moving to another peg. Just by filtering the fish down with the line type bait and hook, you should be able to get to 50 to 60 fish. Getting any more than 60, well that's going to take some luck and it's going to take some effort on your part in finding other spots, trying different equipment setups, and trying out different fishing methods. I've seen some people use one waggler and two sink lines, so it's really about finding out what works best for you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope these tips help you out. Hit that thumbs up button, and until next time, I will talk to you later. Have a good one. Yeah. Shady Wags got your back. It's so entertaining. You need to subscribe to got your back. Gaming, gameplay, and reviews. Even do
doing walkthroughs. This the best gaming channel. I'm just telling you the truth. PS4, Xbox One, or even PC. Plenty tips, all the tricks. This is just what you.